This is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we have a very quick video for you. It's about interacting with the scroll bar on a web page. This was requested by a viewer, and I thought this would be a really good quick win to show everyone. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to Commit Quality. We can open this in headed mode, and I'm going to show you how we can scroll. So let's uh, add a page.pause in here, first of all. And then what we want to do is use the evaluate method on page so we can have access to the window and use the scroll by method. To do this, we can say await page.evaluate. Once here, we're going to have the callback here and we're going to say window.scroll by. And this is going to tell us uh, what we can scroll by. So in this case, I'm going to say let's scroll by just 10 pixels down. And I'm going to have another page.pause so we can see it actually happening. And that 10 pixel should be just a very small amount to scroll down for us but enough for us to see what's going on so let's say npx playwright test headed hit enter we've got it here so we can see that we're able to scroll on this if i just step over the page dot evaluate what we should see now is this bar has moved down by 10 pixels there we are it was a very small movement there but it has moved down i could actually scroll it back up if we need but it was to there and that's all it is to move it down now let's make this a bit larger to see it let's say 100 pixels and see what happens so here we are we've opened it let's move this over a little bit we've opened it let's step over it again and there we are you can see it scroll down even more so now you have the option of manually scrolling down if you need to. And there is also an option to scroll to a given element on a page as well. So let's do that. Let's inspect this show more, just so we can get the locator created for this. Let's continue out to this and we can comment this part out now because we don't need that. And we can say uh, const element equals await page dot locator. We want to get it by the test ID, the data test ID there. So here we have the element we want to scroll to. Of course, we don't need the await on this because it's just a page.locator. And now we can say await element.scroll interview if needed. Now, what this will do is it'll try and scroll this show more button interview unless it's already visible on the page. So let's retry this. Let's clear this down. Let's retry this. So at the moment, we can see that that show more button isn't visible. If we try and step over it, there we go. It scrolled down to show more and it stopped on the page. So you have two options here. You have one where you can scroll to a specific element or you can manually interact with the scroll bar using this page.evaluate function here. And it's as easy as that. Now I am going to be creating another follow-up video on this for scrollable elements as well. I need to create a quick React component for this. So it will be a future video, but it'll be coming soon. But as always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I have also enabled super thanks on my video so you can help donate to me creating these videos. As always, have a great day and thank you for watching.